Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you easiest way how to create animated bar chart that will make your reports truly stand out and impress end users. Let's dive in and don't forget to subscribe. And here we are in our test file and let's start building animated bar chart. First thing that we will need for this example is to have slicer because using slicer will show us how this bar chart works. So I will use year as a slicer. Let's go to calendar table, set year, change this to tile slicer. Let's format this a little bit better. Select layout change columns to two because we have only two years let's resize this now let's go to buttons let's change this on hover we want to change color when we hover over the year it be light blue let's add accent bar also on hover let's change this to dark blue and change it to seven let's see Okay, and let's change state to selected. So we can see which value is selected. Still, let's change this to, hmm, let's use this darker blue. And for accent bar, let's use, I don't know, we can use purple. And let's change width again to seven. Now, if we select here, okay, it works. So we will know that we have selected specific here because we will have this purple accent bar. Okay, close this. And now let's start with building animated bar chart. Next thing that we are going to do, we will add table visualization. Add it, move it, resize it. And as you saw on beginning of this video, I have used category. In this example so let's add category and next measure is percentage of sales per category and I have that measure somewhere here let me try to find it sales for all categories now before we continue let me explain you why you need this measure to create bar chart like I did we will need one measure that is formatted as percentage and I have here sales of all categories. Now let me explain you this function. So here we have divide, divide the X function and we have two arguments. First is numerator, second is denominator and this part calculates total sales for the current category and this part denominator calculates the total sales across all categories regardless of the current filtered context. Now, once you have a measure that shows percentage, let's close this, you will go to my GitHub page that I will leave a link in the description of this video. And let's open that page. And under SVG animate bar chart percentage, you will find this DAX measure. So you can just copy and paste it. You don't have to type anything this is the easiest possible way. Just select everything, copy, and let's go to our Power BI file, go to new measure, new measure, and paste it. So you will need to change minimum one part. And that is the most important part. So here I have sales per category percentage. You will need to change this measure with measure from your data set. Then you will have to change it here. Also here. And then one more place. And that is here. You will also have to paste your measure here. Now, if this animated bar chart doesn't work for you, if, if you want to change colors, you can do it here. So this first part is defining a gradient progress bar that we have. And in this example, I'm using blue color and green. So for, for smaller values, we, we will have blue color. For higher values, we will have green color. So you can change colors for this bar chart just by replacing these two hex codes with hex code you want. Now, next container is for background rectangle. 
for entire SVG so you can change the size of it and also you can change color so here I have a light gray next container is is label text and also you can change font for the text and size also now last container is progress bar rectangle with animation here what you can do is to change height of the progress bar now if you have added your measures here if you replace them successfully and you do not have errors press enter and this new measure will be created once you have created this measure let me find it select measure go to data category and change it to image url now let's go back to our table and let's format this table quickly go to style select style minimal uh, go to column headers change background color to black text to white and let's also add visual border rounded corners to seven or eight width to two and change to gray color and now let's add our animated bar chart and here it is as you can see it's not quite visible for me these numbers are too small bar chart so so but overall i would like to make it bigger a little bit so let's go to format pane and go to specific column select animated bar chart that you have created and now select image size under image size set height to 55 and width to 200 okay this looks much better let's just expand this table that's it we have built successfully animated bar chart now let me show you how this works let's go to our filter let's select 2023 and it's working as you can see bar charts are increasing and let's select 2024 not bad what do you think write me down in the comments and if you're going to use this visualization and i hope you will don't forget to like my video and subscribe for more useful Power BI tips. See you in one of my next videos. Bye.